Okay. Monochrome. Follow up to the prior video. What's the one thing that Fujifilm should be making, but they're not making? The answer is a monochrome sensor. Now, it would be a bad idea to make it out of the X-Pro2 or the X-T2. Obviously, you'd have to strip the menu system bare for a lot of the uh, color function settings, and obviously, <laughs> you don't have to worry about white balance, do you? Um, however, it would be a great idea to actually make a monochromatic version of the X-E2, like the X-E2 monochrome. So that would be a perfect platform to Fujifilm, for Fujifilm to make it. It would require no research and development. There's a company also in the link below. If you take a look, they themselves are taking old Fuji X-Pro1s, taking them apart using really high precision machinery, scraping off the uh, CFI, the uh, color, the CFA, excuse me, the color filter array, in this case the X-Trans sensor array. It doesn't matter if it's bare or X-Trans, it's still a color filter array off of the sensor, reinserting, and uh, voila. You know, they're not doing any firmware upgrades or anything to the camera. They're just scraping the sensor. So it requires no research and development from Fujifilm. All they'd have to do is just order the sensors from the factory. Now, I know what you're thinking, and you'd be wrong on this. You'd be stupidly wrong. Well, a couple of things you're stupidly wrong about, and, and so is most everybody else, which is fine, is that you think, well, the market isn't big enough. Well, there's, people don't know what they don't know. A lot of people think, well, you know, I can just choose black and white in my, uh, you know, in my uh, settings. I could choose uh, A cross, and I could choose black and white with red filter, and yeah, not the same thing. I mean, if you think that, then to you, grape, grape Kool-Aid, which is chemicals and sugar, is the same thing as real grape juice. There's absolutely no comparison. If you think the two are the same, you're dead wrong. Check out, now I have no love for Leica. Leica lenses are awesome, but the only Leica camera that I want, and I want it for a good reason, because the only idiots that are making it for photography for the interchangeable lenses, well, there's the, also the, uh, the Phase 1, which is insanely expensive, um, is Leica, the Leica Monochrome. But that camera is $7,400. Now, the people who are converting the old, old, X-Pro1 cameras, and by the way, they're charging $2,600 for that camera, which you can get used for about $400, charging $2,600 for it. They themselves admit that the old X-Pro1, which you can get for $400, and they're just scraping the color filter array, has way better performance than the really expensive Fuji Monochrome. That says a lot. Uh, excuse me, than the uh, Leica Monochrome. Excuse me, I said the Fuji Monochrome. So the old X-Pro1 that they're converting is better than the Leica Monochrome, which is a really expensive camera. Do you know how much that tells you? I mean, Leica lenses are great, but their cameras, their digital cameras, are, are trash. I used to own Leica film cameras, okay? But I'm not going to buy a Leica digital camera because they're overpriced junk with poor customer service, and they suck. Leica lenses are awesome. I've also got a link below to uh, images from the Leica M camera. It's a Flickr page, okay? If you think you know what, you know, well, sure, I've shot black and white digital photography before. It's like, no, you, you haven't. You don't know the difference. There's a huge difference. The images from a true monochrome sensor will blow your crotch off. Let me repeat that. The images, as far as what you think, I'm going to use a black and white film simulation in my Fuji. Well, isn't that special? It is not comparable to what a true monochrome sensor does, which, by the way, has two really important things that no other sensor has. Color sensor is used in a black and white simulation. It has incredibly better resolution. There's no filter array. And it has way better micro contrast. Way better. You will notice as you flip through the Flickr page, you're like, oh my god, no matter what I do, I can't make my images look like this. It must be the Summicron lens. A lens has a lot to do with the images, obviously. Micro contrast, wonderful prime lenses, this is true. But the reason those monochrome images look like that is not because they're using really awesome, super expensive Summicron like a glass, is because it is a monochrome sensor with far better resolution, far better micro contrast. You know what the color filter array, whether it's bare array or X-trans array does? Yeah, it hacksaws up the light, which reaches the actual photo sites. It's necessary. That's the way color photography works. X-trans, bare array, doesn't matter. It's a color filter array. Once it's removed, oh my god. It's like taking off the rose-colored glasses, or in this case, the blue-colored glasses, or the green-colored glasses, off of someone's eyes and letting them see just the light. There's a lot of people that walk around in the world with just, uh, they have no color perception, right? You know, they're colorblind. Um... 
I wonder how it would be to, I'd like to be colorblind only for one day to see how wonderful the micro contrast, the intertonal details are. This is what a monochrome sensor does. Now the reason why the market for this isn't huge is because 99% of the photographers out there have no idea how much better a monochrome sensor is. They have no idea what they're missing. There's a lot of black and white. You might say, well, you know, the totality of black and white shooters, one of the black and white camera only. Listen, it requires no research and development from Fujifilm because these idiots, and I don't mean they're idiots, but these idiots are only scraping an old, with high precision technology, they're scraping the color filter array off of an old Fujifilm X-Pro1 camera. So while it would be an unwise idea to have a monochrome X-T2 and X-Pro2, they could easily make a monochrome version of the X-E2, or in this case the X-E3, excuse me, you know, and strip the menu system of all the, uh, you know, white balancing and color uh, selections in the menu system and just have a monochrome. Man, they would sell the hell out of it. It would also give uh, Fujifilm, well, it would not be a huge monetary winner, but they would they would destroy Leica overnight for the monochrome. They also would have to create a market by advertising. They'd have people like me and other people saying, listen, this is what you don't know about why a monochrome sensor is awesome. Okay? You actually want this, but you don't know why you want it yet, but I'm going to tell you why you want it. And look, here's the images. Boom! Oh my god. No matter what I do, my black and white film simulations don't look like that. I thought that was just because the Leica guy was using like a Summicron lens. No, it's because they're shooting on a monochromatic sensor. There's no reason at all why the failing, halfway bankrupt company of Leica should be dishing this out. All it is is a color sensor minus the color filter array. Requires no R&D development from Fujifilm. You know? Does not. Fujifilm should be making this. They would destroy Leica overnight the same way that Fujifilm has destroyed um, Mamiya and Pentax with their medium format camera. They did it in run around Nikon and Sony. You know, Nikon Sony doesn't have a medium format camera. Boom, there it is. We nailed it. We crucified it. Now we own it. Fujifilm 2, most importantly, what do you think their X-Pro 2 is? I mean, how many people use like There are a lot of Leica users that were not diehard Leica fans. Like, I love my Leica, but I mean, screw this overpriced crap. I'm going to buy an X-Pro 2, and I'm going to have a real camera. Fuji. Fujifilm has already been stealing Leica people for ages. The people that want the digital rangefinder experience and they want it reliable with good customer service but like a customer service sucks by the way even the hardcore life of people tell you oh my god their customer service sucks Fujifilm should be making this click the links below and there's also an important link from the company that does these the MTFs off the sensors once they're uh, scraped of their uh, color filter array their CFA way better resolution the MTF, uh, MTF charts are way better Micro contrast is really important. You, if you look at these images on the uh, the Flickr page for the uh, Leica Monochrome, you're like, "Why wow, these images look so silver and beautiful? There's all these rich intertonal details that I can never do." It's like you're thinking it's the lens. It's not the lens. And the people that are scraping these X Pro One sensors are saying this old damn Fujifilm scraped is way better than the super expensive new Leica. <clears throat> that means that Leica would destroy. I mean, excuse me, Fujifilm would destroy Leica overnight on that uh, on the, that section of a photography. There are a lot of people that want this, but there's a huge number of people that would want this if they knew what it really was. Like, well, you know, how's that any different than my black and white film simulation? Oh, girlfriend, it's hugely different. You remove that color filter array, the resolution goes, whoosh, yeah, the micro contrast, and then the black and white picture is like incredible. Oh, incredible. I'm not spending $7,400 on an overpriced frigging Leica monochrome. Fujifilm could make this camera overnight. The market share of what they'd be selling on would not be that high, but all they'd have to do is just a little bit of average like this. Hello, we're Fujifilm. This is why you should have this camera. This is what is so important about it. If you are serious about black and white photography. Fujifilm has already got a lot of people that are serious about black and white photography. Already got them. If Fujifilm said, boom, here it is. This is like what this is, by the way, and this is the best way to put it. The monochromatic sensor is the black and white photography 
what medium format camera is to regular photography. And all those people out there, and I've got the Fujifilm GFX. Like, oh my god, that huge sensor. Huge! 51 megapixels. That's the medium format. That's what people want. Obviously, it's slow. It's not fast. It's for product, portrait, commercial. That's what medium format is to full frame and crop sensor. A monochromatic sensor is that to black and white photography relative to what black and white film simulations are to regular photography. There's a lot of black and white shooters. Fujifilm would literally be making the medium format, meaning the desirable, for black and white film photographers. Black and white photographers, excuse me, I said film. <laughs> this would actually be better than film, because I've got countless books full of black and white negatives behind this camera, and tons of them in the basement. I used to roll them myself. I buy 100 foot rolls of black and white Kodak. I shot more black and white film than God. You know, the images out of that Leica monochrome are just incredible. And Fujifilm's existence sensor, if it had the color filter array removed, would be so much better than the Leica. In a much more, a much less expensive camera, which much better customer service. Fujifilm should be doing this, and they're making a mistake by not doing it. And Fujifilm, somewhere at Fujifilm, someone's going, you know, the market's not that big for this, you know, this because it'd be a black and white only camera. It's like, no, it would be huge. You'd get everybody that loves black and white would buy this camera and all you'd have to do is have an ad campaign telling the truth saying this is why a monochromatic sensor is just the epic tits resolutions way better micro contrast is way better it's like you want to see the difference here's some examples boom and then everybody goes oh my god i didn't know black and white photography should look so good i want one that's what would happen did you hear me fujifilm did you hear me did you hear me did you hear me did you hear me fujifilm Bye.